Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul. It is September 1st, 2023, and we are doing the Anomaly video, the Anomaly mission, for this weekend. There's a lot of hype on other games, of course, that have come out. You know exactly what game I'm talking about. And we'll see how that goes. Um, I've got a lot of faith in those game makers. I believe they've come out with a very very good game but if you want exploration if you want versatility if you want to just explore and have fun this is the game for you all right so i'm on my uh, main character here to do the anomaly mission so as you can see i've kind of changed my appearance you'll notice that i've got a new cape i've got my new staff and just a new Pretty freaking awesome appearance. Not to mention my ship here and everything like that. So we're really looking forward to doing the Anomaly video. Great little staff here. If you haven't gotten your staff yet, gosh, people, get moving on it. It is an absolutely awesome piece of equipment to have one of these. And uh, when you're in the mining mode, watch what happens to the head. Yep. The head on this thing literally opens up and shoots out the beam. It is. It is freaking awesome. <laughs> so, you gotta love this thing. Really love this a lot. Um, and, of course, the other weapons that you can have in the game, just to highlight them real quick, besides your, you know, obviously your Sentinel ones, is uh, uh, you get... <clears throat> this is the one I'm using right now, the Skull of Hulslav. And you get your new Polygon Blasters and stuff like that, which I currently have, as you can see. It is a pretty cool-looking weapon, if I do say, say so myself. Kind of a gold-looking weapon uh, with a floating uh, orb in the middle that's actually discharging some sort of energy. Really, really cool stuff that they have on these weapons now. They look really, really neat. So looking forward to uh, showing off some of the stuff. We'll go back to the staff for now. There we go. And let's get on our ship and head up to the... Uh, up to the anomaly, see what our mission is all about. Enough goofing off, right? There we go. All right, we're pulling the anomaly. Take a look. Again, September 1st, 2023. So for those of you who see this video after the 2nd of September, I will be streaming Saturday the 2nd. Somewhere, give or take, around 5 p.m. Between 4 and 5 p.m. I'm going to go ahead and hit it. I just haven't decided when I'm going to start it going, and we're going to play for a few hours. And we're going to do the expedition. We're going to run through it real, uh, as far as that's concerned. I am going to do a video this evening where I'm going to record going through the expedition in a little more of a quieter and uh, straightforward format. So watch for that. And we're also going to do a special stream on Monday Monday morning, very early on, for Eastern Time. That time, by the way, that 5, between around 5 o'clock p.m. is Eastern Time. 5 p.m. Eastern Time here in the United States. All right, so it looks like our, well, it just changed. So your, your mission could change as time goes by. In this case, I'm supposed to be collecting 785 activated copper. Um... As you know, I seem to run into issues where I uh, accidentally complete the mission because I've already got that item on here. See, I've got 5,000 of it sitting here. But if I can take it and put it in my freighter, which I'm going to do that for the Indium, uh, I really wish I could do more to get some of this activated emerald. And we're going to do the activated cadmium just to play it safe. I'm going to put them all in there and hope for the best that they don't choose something like uh, platinum or paraffinium or something stupid. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So let's go back in. Intriguing ingredients. 1,800 quicksilver. You get four starship launch fuels, which I really don't need. But that's okay. And let's go ahead and select it. Initialize the mission. Start the mission. And yeah, you saw my new title. The Lawn Pole of the Void Eyes. There's, a, there's one more that goes beyond that. As far as the title is concerned for that, for the Atlantid run-throughs, but um, I opted for this one because I kind of like it better. That's all. It's pretty cool to be, you know, of the void eyes. I don't know, something kind of neat about that. All right, all right, moving on. So here we are warping out of the system. Let's see where we end up. Hey, 
any time now. I know. Be patient. It's okay. Here we are. Okay. Stick weird. Okay, thank you, stick weird. Okay. Activated indium. So, see, it changed on me. It went from activated copper to activated indium. So, we're going to head over here. My freighter's not in the system, so I don't have access to the ingredients that they want us to collect. So, let's see what happens. We're going to scan this planet so we have an idea what we're to expect. Uh, okay. Mutated planet. Gamma root. Activated indium, uranium, and high sentinel activity. Uh, the far continents. Okay. And we'll pull it in. Doesn't look like we're under a storm yet, or maybe one has already just started. Whoa, okay. Slow down, slow down. Wow, what a creepy looking planet. I don't think I've been to a mutated planet before. Pretty neat. I don't know if there's going to be anything here that we can land at. Ah, you heard that. Or you saw that, heard or saw. That means it's one of those planets. Okay, and you can see by the casings here that we're looking at. Uh, oh, that's crazy. It's happening a lot. All right, let's get closer to the water. We'll land down here, and we do have a storm. And storm crystals to boot. So we'll collect a couple of those while we're here. So keep that in mind, folks. You can get storm crystals here, but you better have the right hazard protection. Uh, for the planet, because the storm is going to hurt you otherwise. Extreme radioactivity is what you need. And you'll see at the bottom left corner, my hazard protection should kick on. There you go. Oh, great. We're going to get a extreme Delta-1 event going on. I'm going to collect these real quick before I get sucked into a storm. There we go. So I got myself a couple storm crystals, so you can grab those while you're here. Very pricey items. And we'll take a look around. Do we have any activated indium nearby? Let's see. 228. Right on the other side of that tornado. Let's go ahead and head there. Maybe it'll head our way. Who knows? Yeah, uranium will boost your shield back up. I get the feeling I'm going to get sucked into that thing. Alright, terrain manipulator... It does not open up the mouth of the guy here, but that's okay. I'm not really concerned about that. This is not a pure deposit. I'm picking up a lot of uh, silicate here. But that's okay. How much did we need? It says to deliver it. So I think it's seeing it on my freighter and still and didn't tell me how much I needed. But I will collect it anyway, so that is the whole purpose of this, is to collect as much activated indium. They usually want you to get about 700 or so. So keep that in mind. The only problem with doing these when you've been playing the game for so stinking long that you have everything... Yeah. I checked the other day. I think I've surpassed 2,500 hours of playtime. Um, oh, yep. Here we go. That sucks. <laughs> get it? Get it? Dad joke. Dad joke alert. Dee -dee -dee. Ah. There we go. We're good. Only took a little bit of damage. Alright, do we have another activated indium deposit someplace? Plenty of storm crystals. Uh oh. Getting sucked back up into the sky again. Whee! <laughs> There we go. Hey, while we're here, we'll grab a couple more storm crystals. Gotta love these wind events. Uh, uranium. Uh, let's see. See, you could panic, but honestly, what's the purpose? There's no reason to get panicked about it. And I think that's the one I started at, is it not? That might be the one right there. Yep. Too much stuff in the way. Ooh, grab you while we're here. Thank you. Hey, you can always use more storm crystals, so grab them while you can, you know? As long as you got good protection, you don't really have anything to worry about. Oh, what do you know? Little, uh, sight here. That's kind of nice. 
And there's our activated indium right there. Like a big lump on the ground. Like a big biscuit. Excellent. So I will collect some more. And this is obviously one of these really long-lasting storms. Try to stay up in the air if you can. That looks like the storm cleared out. All right, so where'd my activated indium deposit go? Is it right here? Yeah, okay. Dee -dee -dee. Oh, I don't think the extreme night radiation is the worst thing here, pal. There we go. That should be good. There we go. Wow, this one was bulging so far out of the ground it was ridiculous. All right. Now I have I happen to also have an activated indium farm elsewhere in the galaxy, but here's the thing about doing that is as soon as you leave a system, you cancel the quest which means you abort it. You don't want to do that. Just gather it from where you're at. All right, so how much did I gather? Let's find out. I'm going to be up here, I'm guessing. Oh, I got so much stuff in my inventory. Uh, here we go. There it is. 621. We did pretty good. Grab okay, you, and you, and you. Okay, get that out of the way. All right, where's my ship at? Oh, yeah, we got a worm over here. So you want to stay away from the worms, unless you like titan worms. I'm not a big... I'm not keen on them. Um, I got a pulse spitter on this sucker, which is just absolutely hilarious, of course. Yep, like right there. Because if you shoot these guys, the biological horrors kick in, and that becomes a problem, see? And it doesn't look like there's any other titan worms at this one, so. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah, took care of you, buddy. If you feel like dealing with them. Of course, I've got to get back to my ship, which I have no idea where I left my ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop attacking me. You're annoying me. Huh. There it is. Okay. Missed it. I had someone ask me, uh, you know, if you have the right shields on your body and you have a good amount of hearts on your person, you really don't have... That is core health. You really don't have to worry uh, as much about these creatures. They're going to attack. You're going to get hit. It It's kind of like uh, just getting a callus to it, if you will. Getting used to being attacked like that, and you just continue on. See? I'm already healing. We're okay. Alright, so we're going to make believe I gathered everything it wanted. I'm guessing they probably wanted a lot more than what I gathered, but... Yeah, keep getting myself turned around. Wow, look at all the... Uh... Yeah, I literally ran right past... Uranium, huh? Uh, my ship. Because of this gray, black and white landscape, if you will. It's kind of hard to see anything. That's hilarious. Okay, let's head over to the uh, place it wants me to drop it off at. We'll get this taken care of. Now, of course, I'm recording this at the same time. I've got some dinner cooking in the background, so uh, if you hear any beeps and whistles coming from the direction of my kitchen, then you probably know what's going on. It's not an alert. I'm not getting hit by a tornado. It's just, uh, you know, food cooking. But anyway. Sorry I haven't been present for a while, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the Anomaly videos. Those I can get going, and I've put out a couple other videos since. But uh, the expedition is live, and it's going to be going on for two months. 
two months. So I guess that this is going to be the last expedition of the year. They're not going to do four like they usually do. It looks like they're just going to have three expeditions this year. So at least that's what it appears. Because this one's not going to end until, like, you know, beginning of November at this point. Ah, that's probably where we need to be. Right here. Yep, it looks like it's got the landing platform active. We just couldn't see it. Really weird. So yeah, two months doing this. Uh, what are we going to do a speed run? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this is a very intensive one. There's a lot of traveling, a lot of searching and discovering animals and uh, of different types and species and planets and things. There's so much traveling. It's called Voyager for a reason, folks. So, all right, let's see how much it wants. All right, 750. So I'm going to deliver all 750, even though I didn't have it all in my, on my person, so... All right, so there you go. That takes care of the mission. Let me see if it took it out of me. Yes, it did. All right. Then that is what they say is it. I'm going to go head back to the anomaly now. The Nexus inside the anomaly. Now it says return to the Nexus, but it's basically telling you to head back to the anomaly and go to the Nexus inside. Ah, color again. Oof. Yeah, not sure if you heard that. One of the devices just went off. Okay, good deal. And in we go. Welcome back to the Space Anomaly. And here we are. Hey, you got the close landing space this time. Nice. Didn't park me outside. And here we go. We will go ahead and turn this in now. Complete the mission, and we're done. 1800 Quicksilver done. Starship launch fuel times four. And as always, we will go to the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion and check. Uh, creating exotic items from Quicksilver. You'll see we have five tiers of jetpack trails we can unpack. Um, looks like we got the Scorching one, which I kind of like. Festive, really. Pyrotechnic, mm, Plasma, looks really cool. And then the, it says fusion jetpack, but I've actually already got that on one of my characters. So that is really, really cool. I do like that. And you see the tiers are progressing, and we're at 36% for tier 1 already. The holograms are all present and accounted for now, as you can see, all the way through the system hologram. So you can get those anytime you wish. So there you are, folks. That's where we are with, the, with, the, with those, uh, those units. And in case any of you got the Twitch rewards from last weekend... This is where you get them from. Twitch rewards are present in here. You'll see everything is present and accounted for. I got all of my rewards. The Helios Egg as well, which actually sounds like a pretty cool pet. You got the X-Wing version of the Exocraft, which is pretty neat. I don't like the top of it. It's too tall. But that's okay. You can get your own mechanical companion. Really cool. I love these things. They actually run pretty quick if you want them. A-Class Multi-Tools. Very nice. Alien one. I haven't checked it out yet. Uh, let's see. And you got some other ones. The Visionary. Oh, I haven't seen what that one looked like. That's really nice. In blue. Oh, I like that color blue. Yes. Very, very nice. And, of course, you got a couple of the ships you ended up with as well. Plus, these guys. So, there you go. There you go. Um, so that's what you, where you can get your Twitch reward. So that is basically it, as they say. So I want to thank you all for watching at this time. And uh, please hit the like and subscribe. It helps the metrics, of course, and the analytics and all that other baloney. And uh, if you uh, watch tomorrow night, I may be streaming and you can check things out. So, again, 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday the 2nd is when I'll be streaming. And I'll stream again on Monday morning, probably somewhere around 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I get up really early. I usually get up about 5.30 or so, so I'm up really early in the mornings. Um, so I will be streaming live uh, as well. We'll do some more of the expedition, or who knows what we'll do. We'll see what we got going on. All right, folks, take care. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you in the future. Take care, everybody.